Hi, I'm Woody. I'm an Earthaparian. You too can be an Earthaparian. Today, we're gonna to talk about the five best tools that we use here at the Earthaparian Labs. Let's go, River. Number one, the Oriori. The Oriori is used for digging small holes, troughs for seeds, sawing with the serrated edge, and cutting with the sharp edge. It's got a fine wooden handle, it's very comfortable, and it has a great weight to it. The Ori Ori also has measurements on it so that you can measure the depth of the soil or other things like the length of a plant, the size of a worm. The Ori Ori is one of my all-time favorite tools, and I keep it on my side always when I'm in the garden. Number two is the pitchfork. I love my pitchfork. The four tines can load a big scoop into a wheelbarrow at one time, and it can also throw big piles of mulch around our property, spreading the energy. What's good about this four-time pitchfork, as opposed to the five-time or six-time pitchfork, is this the mulch doesn't get caught in between the tines. It clears out very easily, and we can keep shoveling with it without having to clean the tines. I love the pitchfork. It's one of my most used tools on the permaculture lab. My number three most favorite tool is the Rogue No-Break Rake. It is a fantastically heavy-duty tool with a heavy-duty ash handle and a recycled farm tool head on it. The rake has an excellent balance to it, a very good weight so you don't have to push on it so much, and it digs deep into the ground unlike a garden rake. You can really rip up hard pan soil with it. It's also really good for building berms in our permaculture berm and swell systems. The Rogue No Break Rake is a must have on a permaculture farm. My number four favorite tool, the broadhead shovel, otherwise known as the spade, is a must for any gardener or permaculture practitioner. This is a heavy duty razorback shovel and it has larger foot rests on it. The broad foot rests allow you to push harder with your feet and use more of the power and weight of your whole body with the shovel. We use it to dig deep into our mulch piles and to move material in and out of wheelbarrows, digging post holes or doing construction projects. We use this shovel a lot. It moves a lot of material in a short period of time. Be sure you get the heavy duty one. It's a must have on a permaculture property. The number five best tool is the horse bucket. These horse buckets are heavy duty, made of rubber so they'll last a lifetime. And they have these amazing heavy duty handles that are very comfortable in your hand. These things have lasted me already for five years. I'm expecting at least another five out of them. We carry water in them, heavy materials, rocks. We carry mulch. I can mix my liquid fertilizers in them. I use them for so many things. Two of them is a good idea because you can balance out when you're carrying around heavy stuff around the property. I literally use these to work out with while I'm spreading materials around our permaculture lab. These buckets are a must have on your permaculture property. These are my five favorite permaculture tools that we use here at Earthaparian Labs. The Ori Ori, the pitchfork from Ames, their heavy duty model, the Rogue No Break Rake, the Spade, and of course the five gallon horse buckets. I'm Woody, I'm an Earthaparian. You too can be an Earthaparian. We'll see you next time. If you enjoyed our video, like, share, and subscribe below. And remember, when you heal the earth, you heal yourself.